Traditionally, people will plant maize, put dry stock on fairly marginal land. We think that you can get a better sustainable land option and a viable land option from planting manuka. So when a landowner comes to Manuka Bioactives interested in planting a Manuka plantation, primarily what we'll do is we'll get them to come and visit our Manuka plantation in Whakatane. Then we'll go out and do a land assessment of their properties. We'll put a terms of reference together, a lease agreement and a financial model. This gives them the ability to uh, figure out you know, what sort of capital investment that they're going to put into this business. The landowner doesn't need to do anything. Manuka Bioactives will bring in their own team and prepare the land. Regardless of whether the land is on flat grassland, whether it's on hill, whether it's on uh, rock, the Monica plantations can be grown pretty much anywhere. They can either manage the plantation themselves, they can choose to manage it jointly with Monica Bioactives, or they can leave it to Monica Bioactives to manage wholly and solely. Depending on what the investment is will depend on what return the, the uh, landowner or the investor will, will take at the end of the day. Manuka Bioactives can provide all the services for the extraction of Manuka honey or Manuka oil. From the time that Manuka honey is extracted, the investor can expect a return anywhere from three to 12 months, depending on whether the honey is sold or stored for it to grow in value. After extracting Manuka honey, one of the most important aspects of the Manuka plantations is maintaining it and then pruning the plantation for the extraction of Manuka oil. Uh, once that has happened, the investor can expect a return on the Monaco oil from anywhere between three and six months.